Mm-hmm. Hey, just be glad you weren't on the jet plane with Mike Pence last night. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's enough. I bet you there was a few spilled bags of peanuts on that thing. <laughs> Dude, a good thing they have those things that they installed at the end of runways now. Yeah, I yeah. actually didn't know about this. Yeah. Let's, we'll talk about that coming up. This, right. this material that they put yeah. at the end of the runway that will stop the plane. It's basically hollow. Yeah. It's basically little boxes that are there that, that will stop a plane. But Good thing you know. they have it. Hmm. Good thing, bro. Wow. Good thing. Should. Scary. Never mind, I'm going to leave it there. Um, Steve Pelliquin uh, joins us in studio from ESPN 1420. I just have this weird kind of pit in my stomach about this Uh-oh. weekend with the Saints. That, that's, that's I'll scary. enjoy a mounds. I don't feel like... <laughs> no, really, which one, which one do you prefer? I'll enjoy a mounds. Um, I'll enjoy. Okay, just, yeah. just check. Um, so sometimes you feel like a net, sometimes you don't. <laughs> always, always, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I feel like... If the Saints keep doing what they're doing, even these close losses, uh-huh. seasons with Drew Brees are numbered. Am I right about that? Well, I think this Sunday's game is important for a lot of reasons. I think that if if they if they win on Sunday, it keeps them in the playoff race, mm-hmm. uh, which is big because if if they if they don't make the playoffs over the next two years. Uh, I, I do think that his days with the Saints are numbered. I think the Saints will probably look at this and say, hey, we haven't made the playoffs in four years. Why we're paying? I mean, you know, mm-hmm. they're not going to say Drew Brees is playing bad because right now he's playing like an MVP candidate. Yes. But I think they'll look at it and say, hey, you know, um, by the time two years is over with, he'll be pushing 40. We haven't made the playoffs in four years. Let's go another direction. Mm-hmm. On the flip side, if they win, and understand that if they win Sunday, they go on the road the next week and take on the San Francisco 49ers, a team that's only won one game. You win that, you're 4-4 four and four halfway through the year. You're a game maybe behind the Falcons, and mm-hmm. you would have done that as banged up and hurt as they've been the first half of the year. Really, it would be an amazing first half of the season. So you would really be, you know, already still in the mix, but it's completely out of play at this point. I mean, it it could be completely out of play if they don't win on Sunday. I I, I agree. That's why I think this part of this game is so big. I think they win. I think they're a uh, a, a playoff contender. Not necessarily pick them to be there, but I think they're a contender. If they lose, they're two and five, and then you could just about write them off. Yeah. Um. Let's talk about uh, Cajuns and LSU. Let's start with the Cajuns playing. I can't Nobody. even read this. Who are they playing this week? Nobody. No. Yeah, Jeez. both of them are off. Both of them are idle. Cajuns back in action a week from Saturday. See, Homecoming against the in, Idaho Vandals. Something put someone put something in front of my face this morning. <laughs> that I, and that's what I get. I'm like Ron Burgundy. I'm reading on here like, <laughs> wait, well, when's the game? Anyway, so Cajuns are off, but Cajuns are off, and uh, LSU's off. So both of them, uh, both of them are idle. So no college football in terms of Cajuns or Tigers this week. Cajuns back in action a week from Saturday. Homecoming against Idaho, and of course LSU a week from uh, tomorrow. The big uh, matchup against Alabama. All right, Steve Pelliquin, it's got our sister station, ESPN 1420. <laughs> it was definitely my pleasure. I'll oh, bring yeah. you an almond jar. Oh, thank mm-hmm. you.